Well, is you you see the body of work uh, in the field. You know, he's a middle of the field, you know, fielder that gonna bring the instant impact to our organization. Um, talk about tools, you know, plus speed, plus bat speed. I mean, that was the most impressive. But then you sit down and talk to him, and you see the type of you know player that he is the off the field. You know, actually being brought up really well with his parents. Um, and that, that is what most impressive from what we have, in, you know, building a, a championship caliber, you know, organization. And we, we want players that on and off the field, they bring that type of uh, ability for us. How long has he been on the radar for you guys? Is it something where you recruited him for a while or was it, you know, you saw him once or twice and instantly you just knew this was who he wanted? Well, I'm, I'm been with the organization for four years. I would say the last two years we've been does any time I come down here, Jerome, you know, would be all over, you know, all over organization and giving us the pointers. And we see in the body of work that he was doing on the field. And just listening to other organizations, you know, is, is a player that was on the rudder for many, many organizations. We was just fortunate, you know, to stay and stick with the process and finally get it done. And same question I asked Stephen. This is the fourth behavior now in the Marlins farm system. Is there something there about this connection where your organization is really <laughs> Most definitely. I mean, it's, it's, it's not hindsight, you know, we, we're from, you know, we're a team from the Florida, you know, from Florida. Uh, we're close by, um, definitely working and, and getting their, you know, or kind of, a, you know, an impact, impact in, in the community and having Bahamians look up to, you know, seeing Miami as a, as a way to, you know, build that relationship, you know, on and off field, you know, definitely the fourth you know, player that we have with the Marlins, but at the same time, um, just building that relationship in two countries that I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's going to be a special thing. You imagine having a, a full roster of Bahamians in the organization, that's, that would be beautiful. So we're just going to keep, you know, there's great players, um, background, um, you know, culture-wise, I mean, this is just a perfect fit for us.